Hello Pisces, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 6th of February until the 12th of February 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Ace of Pentacles. You may see new opportunities come your way to generate a new source of income or you may be lucky enough to receive a financial gift or windfall. On a broader level, this ace indicates abundance in all areas of your life and a general feeling that you are indeed blessed and deserving of everything that comes your way. Operate by the law of attraction, and send out positive energy into the universe so that you may receive abundance in return. The Ace of Pentacles is about manifestation of your goals, and that you are moving into a more positive state of mind about what you are capable of achieving. Your ideas are ready to be turned into something tangible. Figure out what will work and make it a reality. Thus, the Ace of Pentacles sees you starting to map out how exactly you will achieve your goals, by creating targeted action plans and getting those actions underway. There are opportunities that are becoming available to you that will help you to manifest your goals and realize your inner potential, whilst at the same time generate some level of income and financial support. You are beginning to see that the world is indeed your oyster and that through careful planning, you can manifest your true goals and desires. The Ace of Pentacles can suggest that you need to introduce something new into the equation rather than let things remain as they are, and hope they work themselves out, the Ace of Pentacles suggests you throw something new into the mix. Consider something that is out of character or something you might not ordinarily do, or get around to doing. For instance, you might consider joining a club, taking a class to learn new skills or maybe even picking up a couple of books to learn how to build a new business. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Four of Cups. What do you want most right now is change and a new beginning in any areas of your life. You are bored or dissatisfied with the status quo. You may be feeling disengaged, apathetic, or unmotivated. Life has become stale or flat and there is little that excites you anymore. To overcome this, the Four of Cups suggests a need to re-evaluate your situation and to look deep within your own psyche to find understanding and meaning. Turn your attention inward to find the truth for which you are searching. Avoid distractions and examine your heart and mind to gain clarity. The might be an offer has been presented to you but you are holding off making any sort of decision or evaluation of that opportunity until you have had more time for reflection and consideration. Notice that while the man in this card has not accepted the offer being presented to him, he has not completely rejected it either. The cup will continue to be there and the decision to accept or reject it can be made at any point. For now, though, it is the time for contemplation, research and meditation. When all of the answers are in, and it feels right emotionally, then you can take action but in the short term, you do not need to make an immediate choice. Similarly, the Four of Cups signifies disappointment in someone or in a situation. 
you may be growing tired of the same old struggle that has been carried on too long in the past. As a result, you have started to withdraw and go within yourself to seek greater peace and tranquility. If you are becoming particularly pouty or sulky about your predicament, the Four of Cups is then a call to action. It is time to wake up. Be alert and to be open to new experiences that offer a more positive outcome. The Four of Cups can sometimes point to defensiveness. This can be noticed in the body language displayed in the crossed arms and legs of the man on the card. He chooses to ignore the possibility of what the cup has to offer. Possibly he has been hurt emotionally before, as this is the suit of cups, and he is fearful to expose himself to that again, hence he is closing himself off to this opportunity. Consider what opportunities you are ignoring or declining, and ask yourself whether this is because you truly believe you would not benefit from it, or whether this is because you are fearful of what may follow. Be mindful of any defensiveness in your responses and reactions. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Ace of Wands. You are afraid of moving forward with your goal in life since you're not clear on what it is that you want. This lack of direction may be sapping your energy levels and leaving you feeling incredibly unmotivated and uninspired. As a result, you are often asking yourself if this is what you really want in life and whether there would be something better elsewhere. However, when you think about what other opportunities might appeal, you may struggle to really know what you want. To remedy this, you need to first focus on where your true passions lie. There is no point working towards a goal if you are not motivated or excited about reaching that goal. So. Take some time to contemplate what it is you really aspire to and what you want to achieve out of this situation. You are weighed down by existing responsibilities and commitments and therefore cannot pursue the new ideas that you have. You need to revisit the Ten of Wands and release yourself of some of those burdensome responsibilities so that you can free up your time to pursue your newfound passions. Alternatively, you may take a break from your usual routine in order to allow your new ideas to flourish and grow. The Ace of Wands can indicate frustrating delays are getting in the way of you being able to progress with your projects and ideas. You are likely to feel very impatient at this time, particularly if you are highly action-oriented and you have just started to gain momentum in your activities. You might also be in a position where you have an amazing idea but you have not yet found the right outlet for that idea. Again, you are beginning to become increasingly impatient that you have not been able to manifest that idea just yet but perhaps that is for the best. Timing is essential, so be patient and wait for the best opportunity. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is the Queen of Swords. You will meet a female significant figure who is most likely from the air sign who is stern and composed, and without much feeling. If you are single, she might be someone that you're looking forward to be your partner. On the other hand, this card also represents the intellect's ability to judge and discern impartially, without the influence of emotion or sentimentality. She likes to know the how, what, why, where, when and who of everything to help her make sense of her environment and to better understand others. It is not that she does not care about others but she connects to other people through an intellectual understanding rather than an emotional understanding. The Queen of Swords is a sign that you need to be independent in thought and in judgment. You must use your unbiased intelligence in order to make a judgment of a particular situation, drawing upon every piece of information and fact that you have gathered along the way. Empathy or compassion towards others may distract you from the task at hand, so it is important that you think with your head and not with your heart at this particular time. Do not let emotion get in the way. Rather, use fact and logic to make your decisions. 
The Queen of Swords also has an innate ability to tell it like it is. She is a quick thinker and highly perceptive, and as such, she can cut through the noise and confusion to get straight to the point. There is certainly no beating about the bush, or softening of her comments, opinions and thoughts. She is upfront and honest about her opinions, and expects the same from others. The best way to interact with the Queen of Swords, therefore, is to remain as impartial as possible, and to present your thoughts and opinions concisely and honestly. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the Ten of Cups. You may have been hoping for some special time with a loved one but it feels as if everything is falling apart at the seams. You may be quarreling, not spending enough quality time together or not really respecting or caring for each other. Your hopes of a harmonious relationship are being thwarted, for now. Aim to treat each other with respect and love in order to restore harmony and peace to your relationship. Focus on how you can treat others with compassion and respect, in order for them to eventually follow suit and give you the same treatment. This card can also highlight when there is a misalignment of personal values. You are not living by your personal values and you are not being true to yourself. You are allowing others to determine what will and will not make you happy rather than looking within for that source of fulfillment. As a result, you are questioning whether you really believe in what you are doing. While you are madly rushing around trying to get things done, it is also very important that you address any lingering issues of values alignment with what you are doing, otherwise this may become a showstopper later down the track. In term of your relationship, you are neglecting your family while you pursue more material goals such as progressing with your career or making more money. Your work, life balance is out of whack and you are spending less and less quality time with your family. You need to be clear about where your personal values lie and what is truly achievable. If you continue to neglect your family, you will find that relationships will suffer and you may not be able to achieve an overall sense of contentment and happiness as planned. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ten of Swords. You may feel powerless as something comes to a crashing and sudden end, and you feel as if you are being attacked or backstabbed by someone else. You may even use this challenging time to portray yourself as a martyr, to show that you have put your interests last but have suffered as a result. There is a difficult experience of endings, loss, pain or release. However, the saving grace is that you have a new awareness and a positive sense of relief that the difficulty and pain will soon be over and will evolve into something new. As with all endings there will be a new beginning, a rebirth, and a rejuvenation of the spirit. So, while this card may seem negative at first glance, it is a card of help and an indication that your troubles will not be permanent. Furthermore, this is the final moment, and no more pain will come to you from that source. It is darkest before the dawn, and as gloomy as it looks, the sun will rise again. It can only get better from here. The Ten of Swords is about letting go and accepting your current circumstances. You no longer resist change but allow it to happen, even if it causes some initial pain and hurt to you. You accept that there must be change in order to facilitate renewal, and you allow it to occur rather than fighting it. After a painful situation, it is a signal to pick yourself up off the ground and to reflect upon what happened to you and why, and what you can learn from the experience. The Ten of Swords is a sign that the pain and hurt you have endured has not gone without purpose. The positive power within you can be used to learn from your pain and draw wisdom from defeat. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The Star. Go ahead, wish upon a star. 
The angels say you have every reason to feel hope and happy expectation. Believe in your dreams, and look to your future with optimism, excitement, and confidence. Challenging times are now behind you, and brighter times are ahead. Make your plans with the long view in mind. Now is the time to envision your life the way you want it to be and to take action in that direction. The expectations you create for yourself are planted in fertile soil. Trust and follow your intuition, as it's right on target. Additional meanings of this card, faith. A sense of purpose. A prosperous new beginning. Being on the right path. Archangel Jephiel is the angel of optimism who helps us develop a sunshiny outlook and attitude. Call upon Jephiel to help you celebrate your victories and stay optimistic about your future. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.